For patients who come in with sinus disease or with those sinus complaints, facial pressure, congestion, um, sense, loss of sense of smell, what we typically want to see uh, to ask specifically is, are we dealing with an acute, subacute, or chronic sinusitis? Because the treatment is also different. And many studies have shown that the quality of life of patients with chronic sinusitis is even much worse than patients who have angina, back pain, and a lot of other chronic medical problems like COPD, for example. Their quality of life is affected much more. Sometimes it could be tough to differentiate between someone coming in to see you with just nasal congestion. You need to ask them specifically about their sinus complaints because sometimes you can have sinus disease or chronic sinusitis in addition to having allergic rhinitis, which is allergies of the nose. Because the treatment is completely different. There are some similarities between them and the ones who, have, who are stoppers. Nasal congestion is one of them discolored drainage of the nose, post-nasal drip, facial pressure, and there is some patients complain about loss of sense of smell. New technology has also recently been um, introduced, such as a drug eluting stent, and that delivery will keep the sinuses open, reduce the inflammation, and it would last for right now for about a month, and we give them uh, nasal sprays like nasal steroids and we have them do saline washes of the nose. We have surgical options to treat this disease to improve their quality of, of their life. UTMB Health. Working together to work wonders.